Okay? But what's key about this is, back up one, is they had to make the paths to these cities straight, clear of all debris, level. Okay? Because what would happen if you or I had accidentally murdered somebody, caused an accident, and that person died, and now we're running to the city of refuge, and there's a tree log in the way, and we're not a very good climber, or we trip on the way there, right? And the avenger of blood is right behind us, right? We want every opportunity and chance to get there and to get there safely, right? So we want to make sure we have a path. And I find it interesting between this connection, what I read to you here before. You see, because what this relates to, the city of refuge is this place, this habitation, which the high priest, our high priest, dwells. Who's our high priest? Jesus. All right? Who's the avenger of blood? In this case, it's the enemy, it's the devil, who's after us. You see, because we have, in a spiritual sense, committed murder. Anytime we've sinned, we have um, defiled God's law, defiled God's uh, essence, because God is pure, God is holy, God is righteous, and God's spirit will not dwell with sin. So the devil is hot on our heels. Whether you know it or not, he is. Okay? And we have got to make our place, our, our venture to the city of refuge where we can find that place of habitation where God dwells, where we can come to the high priest who is also known as our king, is he not? And he has sent persons on ahead to make these paths level. Who are these persons? One of them sitting over here, our pastor. Others are evangelists, music evangelists. Others are neighbors and witnesses to us who try to point us in the direction of Jesus. Right? 